Hi, Cynthia McCluskey here with Autism Society. So, you applied to DDD and you didn't get in, and you're wondering why. So the first thing you need to do is go to our top six things to know and do, number one, and download the DDD policy. You will see that your child has to have a diagnosis of autism and who it has to be from. So currently the standard is neurologist, psychologist, psychiatrist, or developmental ped. And then you need to show that your child has substantial limitations in three out of the seven areas. And those seven areas are listed. And if you meet all that criteria, you should actually be able to get into the Division of Developmental Disabilities. Sometimes people don't get in because they have documentation that uh, works against them. And a lot of times it's their IEP. So if your child's in school and they have an IEP that really doesn't have the diagnosis of autism and doesn't demonstrate the three out of the seven areas, GDD will sometimes use that IEP to say your child doesn't qualify. So my first suggestion would be if the IEP is inaccurate, you go back to the district and you fight for an accurate IEP requesting the services that your child needs and requesting that they have a diagnosis of autism in their IEP. Sometimes you'll have to ask for an IEE, an individual educational evaluation. And uh, the state has, the school has to pay for that. So you don't have to worry about your having to pay for another diagnosis. The school has to do that. So you want to make sure your IEP is really accurate because um, that is a record um, of what your child's abilities are. And GDD can use that to show that your child doesn't have three out of the seven areas of substantially limited. You also want to make sure if you have a speech, OT, other evaluations that support that your child not only has a diagnosis of autism, but meets the criteria of substantial limitation in three out of seven areas. So make sure that you've done that. If you've done all of that and you still don't understand why DDD denied you, you need to request um, from them the reason that they denied you and they should give that to you in writing. You need to look at that and then you need to address it. You can always appeal and you can reapply to DDD as well. It's really important though, I stress that you read their policy thoroughly because that's what they use to judge whether your child is qualified or not qualified. And so the really key language here is not only the autism diagnosis, but making sure it's from somebody who the state accepts, which is neurologist, psychologist, psychiatrist, or developmental ped, and then making sure that you have documentation of substantial limitation in three out of the seven areas.